Hi, good morning, how are you doing? Just, um, it's me, Rick. Just a quick one today, really, just um, with Tenerife now actually heading into level four, um, as of midnight Sunday night. Um, I've been looking around the internet today, looking around on YouTube, seeing a couple of uh, um, inaccuracies from uh, from other videos that I thought should really just, we should really try and rectify just to make sure that you guys have actual the facts. Some families have actually spent a lot of money uh, and considering still coming to Tenerife are actually now on the fence of whether they should come or not. And sometimes the information that we can give um, will persuade um, either one way or the other whether to make the decision to actually come or not. Uh, so it's, I think it's very only fair that we get the, um, the information that you get given is actual factual and, uh, and correct. So as of Saturday morning, um, the date is today is the 8th of January. Um, here, are, here are some of the facts about Tenerife that, uh, you know, that ill information may have been given. Um, the first one is the capacities of the bars themselves at the moment. Um, indoor capacity is actually 33%, which means it's actually ris risen from 25%, which actually is really a good thing. Uh, and outdoor is actually 75%. It's not, I've heard the rumours that somebody, I think somebody put on there that the outdoors was 33% and it's not. It's outdoor terrace capacity is 75% and indoor has risen from 25% to 33%. It had been uh, stated in other videos that the closing times of the bars is 1 a.m. That's not correct. Um, the actual Spanish um, translation is, in those establishments and activities that prior to the pandemic did not have a closing time set or had a high one, the maximum authorised closing time will be midnight. So it's going to be a midnight close um, in the bars and restaurants across, uh, across the south of Tenerife. That's the second point. Public transport remains at 75%, not at uh, 100% that uh, I've seen uh, people talking about. It's a 75% uh, capacity at the moment on all public transport and masks, yes, they need to be worn uh, outdoors. Also, maybe some misinformation about group sizes. Um, group sizes in level four. It is established that group of people in spaces for public and private use, closed or outdoors, cannot exceed six people except cohabitants. So if you are a family of more than six, you can actually sit together. There's no need to split tables. If the space is available on the terraces and you can still maintain two meter distance, um, there's no need to split tables if you are um, cohabitants in the same family. But the actual um, group size at the moment cannot exceed six people. And also uh, for the bars and for the restaurants, the mandatory use of the COVID certificate, um, that remains unchanged as well. As mentioned, your decision may be made of whether you come to Tenerife or not, depending on the things that I say or other people may say. So I think it's important that we deal with the facts. Um, once again, thanks a lot to the Canarian Weekly. Uh, Chris Elkington does a fantastic job. The link for the Canarian Weekly is below with the uh, the report there, as is the, uh, the link to the, uh, the BOC, which is actually the official Spanish statement. So Sunday night, 12 midnight, we are moving into level four. As mentioned in the report, uh, these changes have been printed in the BOC and come into effect in Tenerife on the island moved to level four, which is midnight on Sunday night until at least midnight on January the 24th. So it's not going to get looked again. It's not going to get looked in a, a week by week basis at this moment in time. The next time they're going to look, look at changing the level four will be at least midnight January the 24th. Guys, I hope this helps. I hope you uh, like the content. I hope you enjoy what you see. We do a lot more other things on this channel as well, like Hearted. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, if you just want to click on the subscription button, feel free. We do a lot more of the stuff all regarding um, what myself and Shelley do in Tenerife. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.